Make sure you go follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The old saying, desperate times calls for desperate measures, just doesn't always fit. We can find ourselves desperate for many things, one of those things being change. From the smallest to the largest, but what happens when you sit there and realize what you need to really change is you. Please, God, give me the strength to get through this. Hey, bitch, what are you going through? I just hate doing this. You love dancing. This is your audience. When I dream of dancing, I thought I would be on stage. She thought she was going to be dancing with Beyonce or something. That would be nice. Should I even take Sierra right about now? The point is, my life isn't going how I planned. Well, in my 21 years, I've learned to play with the cards I was dealt with and move on. Here comes the train. Sorry to hear that, but do you think it's possible for me to wait for Kevin? Good luck. He ain't gonna be home anytime soon. You think that I can wait for him with you? Sure, I guess. Your choice. This fucking I can't with this shit. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Watching a, a video of a guy I had sex with earlier. <laughs> can you be any more narcissistic? I think you'd be interested in watching this too. I do not think so. You are my cousin. That's disgusting. You should see who it is though. What? what it, that's Darius? How, what, at his job? It was all him. I just walked back in to fuck with him a little bit more. I guess he was sleeping or something. Grabbed me and pulled down my pants. I can't believe this shit. Yeah, but this is your chance to make you look like a hero, not a vengeful bitch. And how's the two different? Okay, so this is what you do. 
you go down to his office, you show Lionel the video, and you're a hero. Or it can backfire in my face. Eh, it could, but going down there in person it might come across as more sensitive than vindictive. So this was your plan all along? Pretty much. But you gotta go now and tell Lionel before Darius does. <sighs> I just got back from work. I wanted to kind of relax a little bit, get my feet and shit. Work? Bitch, you got you a job! Well, I went to a clothing store earlier to see if they were hiring and I hired them on the spot. But now, after getting the shower and change, I have to make it to Lionel before Darius does, so... I'll be back. <laughs> Straight behavior, no one can save ya Stick em up, son, and run what they gave ya Ain't nothing nice in a heist for the ice Ain't nothing nice in a fight for your life Straight behavior, friends will betray ya Thought they were savior, look who done played ya Ain't nothing nice in a heist for the ice Ain't nothing nice in a fight see, for your life I believe I got some enemies who don't wanna see me breathe But even succeed was all about the team But fuck the family when the band ain't giving a damn about the me Let me see, uh, see Real when cats is all shicey And the women behind them is all feisty Nasty but nice like Miss L.A. Nicey Give a fuck if none of these people were here like me Bite me, you ain't doing shit to excite me Coming heavy and I wouldn't take the shit lightly Fuck it, you ain't put a drop up in the bucket And at the end of the day, nothing is what you're stuck with If you don't believe, the streets will deceive you Better get some street behavior up your sleeve uh, Cause round here we don't wait for karma Cock and lead a block and shot, nigga trauma Street behavior Thank you for meeting me for lunch today. Especially after the way I acted yesterday. Tell me about it. It's like you don't know when to shut up. Excuse me? You heard me. Oh, it's like you talk sometimes just to hear yourself speak. You insulted me, my needs, my wants. You talked about my best friend who, by the way, has never said anything against you. Look, I don't okay. believe that, okay? But well, whatever, what, whatever, whatever, sure, whatever you say, man. You know what? I don't even have to sit here and listen to this. Wait, okay? wait, wait, slow down. I didn't invite you to lunch for us to fight, babe. I want to stick, sit down, have a nice lunch, hopefully have a good time for once. What'd you have in mind? How about dinner in a movie? Dinner and a movie. Yeah. And that's your idea of fun. What's wrong with dinner and a movie? What's wrong with spicing it up a little bit? Well, like you said, you know, we've been uh, only been together for a couple of months, but I think we're kind of stuck in our ways. Okay. What do you have in mind? No. Sex in public. Mm -hmm. Sex in public? Well, it, it could be kind of exhilarating. I don't mean like right now. It should be spontaneous. That does sound a little adventurous. Maybe that's something we can get into. Okay. <laughs> Walter, have you thought about kids? Yeah, I love my nieces and my nephews. No, I mean having your own. Oh, well. I never gave it much thought, to be honest, being gay and all. Look, I love children, especially the ones I can give back. <laughs> What's bringing this on? Oh, I've always wanted kids. I met this homeless kid the other night. 
don't know, I just think I could help someone by adopting. That's really noble of you. But adopting as a single man, that's really hard. Oh, I wasn't planning on doing it alone. Oh. This is that marriage conversation again, isn't it? Look, babe, we're not ready for those type of commitments. We're not. Dr. Ford, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Nurse Harry, come on in. <clears throat> so I, I've been here all night and all day. Listen, is there something I can talk to you about? Like privately? Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Is everything all right? Yeah, so um, earlier last night, Nurse James came in. Wait, what? Is she, is she okay? Yeah, she didn't come in as a patient. She came in to look through the system. Oh, to look up Jonathan's records. How did you know that? Oh, I know Lynette. I mean, Nurse James. Hmm. Well, that's not it. Uh, so Dr. Singleton, she's in a lot of trouble, and I don't mean to go. <sighs> Shit. Uh, excuse my French. Two of my best are going through something at the same night. I have to think something's up. Well, not something, but someone is up to some shit, and not the regular shit that happens in hospitals. Well, I'm no stranger to the streets, so what do you think? There's something that we can do? Well, that's what I don't know. I mean, these guys, they're dangerous. But these are my boys from the streets. I mean, they protected me in the streets. comes to that point where you have to decide you want to go with your old life or the current one you have now. It's your decision. Lionel, I've got those uh, reports you were looking for, sir. Oh, great. Thank you, Ms. Nine. You're welcome, sir. Lionel, do you mind if I have a seat, sir? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Everybody wants to talk to me today. I mean, you are the boss, sir. I wish. I'm just the boss in this department. Nothing more, nothing less. I have a boss to answer to. So until that's gone, no. Good point, sir. Do you want to stop kissing my ass, Terrell, and tell me exactly what you need? Okay. All right, hear me out. I was wondering if it was time for, like, maybe if you could... <sighs> Lionel, I need a raise. Serious? Yes. Um, I don't mean to sound insensitive or rude, but... Are you crazy? Uh, <laughs> I mean, honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that your ex-girlfriend is my husband's best friend, you wouldn't even have a job right now. I understand you're in a crunch, you need to move, but a raise? Absolutely not. What I can do is I can give you an HAN loan. H-A-N? Um, a helping a gal loan. Listen, I've had more man troubles than you can possibly grasp. So, I, I do get it. I understand. I mean, just because I'm gay doesn't make our problems any different. You know, I honestly, I really never even thought about it like that. I'm sure. I know who you used to be, Terrell. I used to live in the neighborhood you used to hustle in. The rumors, they do spread. Even though you didn't go to jail for it, I know for a fact that you bashed that kid. So why are you hiring me then? Uh, once I realized who you were, I did have my reservations, but my husband begged and begged, and 
I do believe in second chances, so yeah. So whenever Malcolm decides to show up for work, I'll have him help you find a place and we can work out some sort of repayment options. Wait. Whoa, 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 are you serious? I don't joke about money. Yes! Yes! Some guy here to see you too. Um, send him in on your way out. Yes. Thank you again, Lionel. No problem. You the plug, Ross. Uh, you can go on. Okay. Um, Lionel? Omar, what are you doing here? I came from the to talk to you about it. The fuck do you have to talk to me about? It actually concerns the Avers. I don't want to hear anything you have to say about my husband. I think you might want to hear this. Actually, I don't want to hear anything you have to say, especially about Darius. But do you know what you could do for me? What? You can get the fuck out of my office. <laughs> Fine, I'll leave. But you're gonna find out one way or another. Fuck you. You know, already did that. You're weak ass joke. So he sends his sister? Yeah, like she's really gonna get me to change my mind. Now you know, when you're desperate, you'll try anything. Yeah, I just hope this doesn't turn into anything it doesn't need to be. Don't worry about it, baby, I got you. Oh, thank you, baby. It's just, I don't know what these people are capable of. Especially since I'm not in that little circle anymore. How long was Terrell involved? I don't really know. Um, after college, so not that long ago. He just couldn't find a job as fast as I could, and Sean, he's been dealing since his parents died. Sean Delaney? Yeah, we, are, we all went to school together. Sean, Terrell, and Kevin, we all came from the same area. But I guess sometimes life takes you to different paths. Hey, Agent Turner. Doctor. Okay. I'm sorry, can I talk to you for a second? I don't mean to interrupt dinner. You mind, babe? No, no, go ahead. I'll freshen up and you two talk business. <laughs> What's up, Doc? <laughs> Funny, I've never heard that one before. Um, tell me, is there something going on with Dr. Singleton? Amanda Singleton? Yeah, I'm aware of her issues. Uh, is there anything I could do to help? She's made her choices. Let's just hope she doesn't get her hands any dirtier. <clears throat> Dirty. Wait, is she actually doing illegal shit? That's right, in your house. What can you do to help? Just let her hang. Soon enough she'll slip up and I'll be there to get her. But thanks for your interest in the good doctor. Hey, you guys, huh? Yeah, babe, let's go home. Doc, stay out of this. It's not your kind of party. Oh, I'm just grab my coat. Hey, um, I got your message about Mrs. Simmons. I uh, just put her on the epi so she doesn't go on the coach. Shit like that. Still a woman I love. So? She tries to cut POS boyfriend on me. Mm. That nigga is intense though. Shit, but soon enough I'll be out of their spot and they're my own shit. Who you robbed? Nobody. My boss giving me a loan. 
Oh, tell me you started sucking dick, bro. Man, get out of here. Nah, he cool as shit. He understand the situation. Plus, he married. What that got to do with anything? Him and Erica and, like, his husband, wife, whatever they call each other, like, they like best friends or some shit. So he know the situation and he cool. Look at you. Finally good for something. <laughs> man, fuck you. Shit, though. Man. You know we gotta see my son. Nah, I'm not with it. Half the time, she act like I'm not even there. Remember that time we took that picture and she was like, look at my two sons? <laughs> but that's what you want, though, right? Yeah, but she ain't mean it like that. She was being a bitch. Uh, she'll come around soon. Just like ever come around. Bro, when you go start chasing a bitch that don't want you? Hold up. Didn't you chase Kyra for like two years? Waited for her to break up with that yapping bitch, Layla. Lila. What the fuck her name is. Then slid it on in, and then took her yours. Like, what? Yeah, but that shit is different, though. You try and take a nice chick and turn into your trap queen. I'm trying to take my trap queen and turn into my queen, boy. You gotta have ambition past these streets, my nigga. Man, clearly I do. Yeah, now you do. Erica had fucked up Terrell for two years. Now she's supposed to explode with joy over this new you. But hopefully, she come around. And if she don't, you need to let that shit go. shower because I, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. It's something I gotta tell you though. What? Can I take a shower? Because you can come here for dinner. Um, no, 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 no. It's, it's really, really, really important. Okay. Um, uh, uh, could you spit it out? I smell like the city. Okay, okay. It, it, it doesn't matter. Never mind. Let's go take a shower. Yeah, 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 go. Alright. Hey, dude. What about dinner? Don't worry about it. Sure, Kevin is mad proud of you. You know, to be honest with you, he doesn't even know. What? How the hell is that even possible? You know, it's funny. Ever since we moved in together, it's like I never see him. I think he's avoiding me. Yo, that doesn't even sound like the Kevin that I know. He's changed. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out why he lets his very uh, attractive and talented boyfriend stay alone so, so much. He's trying to make a living the best way he can. Yeah, by selling drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Putting both of your lives in danger. You I know that, right? Say that. Well, I'm saying if you're dealing with a drug dealer, then your life and their life is in danger, right? Because people, are, there's always somebody out there that's trying to get the money or hood cred or revenge. 
I don't think he has that problem. He's really a good dude. But people change. He may or may not be the Kevin that you first met. Listen, I gotta make a run, but uh, I will be back. Where the fuck you been at? Looking for a real job. Fuck you mean by that? What, I ain't got a real job? Here you go. I ain't say all that. But if I ever want my parents' approval, I gotta do more than shake my ass for money. So your parents' approval means so much now and it's so important now because... Same as it would be for you. No, not for me. My parents are dead, bro. We don't say that. I'm Gucci. What happened to you? What do you mean, what happened to me? When we first started dating, you was like this big, optimistic ball of fun, and now you just jaded and unhappy, like... <laughs> okay, if you want to get technical, why I'm aggravated, why I'm mad, okay, first of all, I have to go deal now with my brother, and I have to go deal with his bullshit-ass boyfriend, because I owe them now. So you're taking that out on me? Well, duh. I would... I wouldn't even have to be going through this. I got you a spot at the club. And I appreciate it, but like, it's just not me. Well, that should have been the first thing you said, but it wasn't. Move, move the fuck out of my way. I got a job. Congratulations. Whoop the fucking do. What, you want cookies? Move the fuck out my way. Move, move. Hey, figured you wouldn't answer, but I just wanted to let you know things are going good. And I got a job at an interior designing company, and I have somewhere to stay. I guess I'll talk to you soon. Love you, Mom. Into the house of the Lord. Sacrifices of thanksgiving, and we offer up to you the sacrifices of praise. So, when you we'll, we'll speed up in the middle, and then we'll go, uh, we'll go slow again at the end, yeah. and then you know, we'll start off slow. It'll be good. Worship into the slide and then still trying to get it. Still trying to get it. Right, yeah. <laughs> so let me, I'll be right back and okay. then we'll, we'll run it again. All right, great. All right, thanks. No problem. Second assistant today. Hopefully I should be able to get rid of Malcolm real soon. That would be great. 
tired of that whole ass nigga sitting in front of your office, so. I mean, you know you have nothing to worry about. And neither do I. Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Where the fuck is your head at right now? Because it's definitely not here. Okay. Babe, you know I love you, right? Nothing good ever starts with that statement. Let's just say, while I was at work today, there was like a lot of shit going on, and, um, like, I just... One second, babe. Okay, okay. Yo, let me, let me, let me explain, please. Let me, babe, let me explain. Explain what, Darius? Huh? What the fuck do you want to explain to me that I just didn't fucking watch? Please, you know, like, let me explain. <laughs> this is how you pay me back, huh? Nah, not even. This is bullshit. Do you know how this fucking makes me look? It makes me look stupid. I feel like a fucking idiot. I was just fucking defending you to Omar and you fuck his cousin of all fucking people. Yo, Lionel. Just don't fucking touch me. I can't even fucking look at you. Yo, please, like, I love you, like, let me explain. You can't make this better. Oh, so you said this is mad, though? <laughs> I know you're not about to bring up Omar right now. You know what? Fuck you. I'm out of here. Lionel! Lionel! Kill someone for him. You're a worthless ass nigga. Go find your own man. <laughs> you got play, son. You didn't do your fucking head. Fuck off me. You, ain't, you and your cousin need to find another target. Because believe me, I will kill you and his bitch ass. You know you're pathetic, right? He played you. Get over it. Move the fuck on. Yeah, please. I don't fucking care. If Lano don't come home tonight, I will fucking kill you and him this time. What the hell's wrong with you? Are you fucking crazy? Yeah, I'm fucking crazy. That's why you should be worried. But guess what? It's not over for the both of y'all. Get the fuck out of here. <coughs> what happened? <coughs> what happened? How about you act if I'm okay? You breathing? <coughs> you good? Now what happened? I did everything you told me to do, and this is the outcome. Nah. It's because for some odd apparent reason, you can't get your head off Lionel. Newsflash, girl. Good dick is a dime a dozen. Doesn't. It's not just about that. It's more than just dick. Whatever. I'll talk to King. It's starting to swell up. Go home. I'll cover you. Mm -mm -mm. This is not cute at all, boy. You ain't never lying. And this is my third time in this damn dime in the last 24 hours, so this better be good. Why don't you guys have a Does this have something to do with Omar? Why would this have anything to do with Omar? Lionel played his ass months ago. What? It ain't over it yet? Clearly something went down because Antonio called Jonathan to go into work ASAP. You know, funny thing about Antonio. <laughs> He's real, real photogenic. Well, what are you talking about? Did he just compliment Omar's slut bucket cousin? Wow. I'll be damned. Well, are you okay? 
I mean, if you went ape shit crazy, I totally, totally get it. Are you even allowed to be mad? I mean, you did fuck Omar right after you got married. See, here's where you're wrong. It's not even about the sex. So, bitch, why are you mad? And why got me at my house? It's embarrassing. Do you know what it's like to have somebody show up at your office and you curse them out, you throw them out your office, and, 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 and in defense of somebody that cheated on you, and then the same person that you kicked out your office is the same person that sent you the video of your motherfucker that are cheating. Get the fuck over yourself. Mm -hmm. The last person you should be worried about is Omar. Darius made the same mistake that I've made with you. Shit happens. You have to get over shit, because if you don't, you're going to do something that you're going to regret. Now, take your self-pitying ass home and make up with your loving husband. Because I'm pretty sure this was a setup. Darius ain't stupid, mm -hmm. and Antonio is not his type. Right. Go talk to your husband. Meanwhile, we're going to take care of this wine while you take care of this check. No, and I'm not gonna be the one to tell him this shit either. That's crazy. He really loved that nigga, boy. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> what you doing out here anyway, yo? Son, I found King. Oh, wait, you found King what? I found King dead in the streets, boy. Get the fuck out, yo. That shit is wild. Oh my god. First Taiki, now King. Yo, this shit is not right. Something is up, bro. This shit is not right. What? Y'all, this shit ain't right. Shit is right. It's that detective nigga, and he coming for all of us one by one. Fuck. Fuck! Oh my god. Nigga, what is your problem? Yo, my dude is home alone! <laughs> so now you give a fuck? You wasn't worried about him before. Yo, I gotta get back to the crib. I gotta go. I gotta get to the crib. So who gonna tell Russ and Raphael about this shit? Oh, no, shit. I'll call Russ, and then you, you holler at Raphael. That's... Hey, fuck okay. it. Shit. Do what you got to do. All right, I'm holler. All right. Some uh, liquor or juice is alright. Um, you know what? Alcohol would be absolutely amazing right now. I could really use a drink. Cool. I just gotta go with that. Get the bottles in another room. That's alright. Yeah, go down. Tell Kevin that I stopped by. 